Okay, so I'm going to continue refined, refined cutting out of the edges. I've got most of this foreground done. But as you are looking at it at 100%, I'll see areas like this that need to be removed, right? But only within the area of my actual composition. That's where the guides come in. Think foreground, middle ground, background. And then I can select and mask. It's a way of feathering and being able to control it a little bit better. Like so. And then this bright blue, you know, is kind of giving away. So I'm going to cut out those little areas. And then same thing, refine and mask. It's harder when it's man-made stuff where you can't just cut away where you want. That's why our next assignment is going to be making a creature, compositing a, a fantasy creature out of different organic animal parts. That's a lot easier than like compositing a machine where everything has to be really clean. Organic stuff is more forgiving. I don't know if I like that. So sometimes cutting a hole isn't the best thing. Sometimes just burning it down is the best thing, right? To make edges match. And so some of these edges are just too bright, so I can just burn them. And deepen the shadows on some of it. So this dodge and burn tools are incredibly helpful in making things all fit together. It's actually where you can control to some extent the direction of the lighting, not just the color of it, not just the intensity of it. It's the main Photoshop tool when you're actually doing photo corrections because it's the main tool within a dark room for photographers before there was digital photography. Dodging and burning. They're, they're dark room terms for adjusting your exposure by hand. Little things. You can soften. That helps. And because it's all underwater, that helps too. And I can always just use my eraser, and I can take it at a lower opacity and a soft size and just kind of erase as well. Not everything has to be based on what's in the reference. I can kind of create my own edges. And then I can burn them, and I can soften them. And on and on. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Are there any highlights I want to dodge? I can do that. Just hit the highlights quickly. Remember this tool we tend to overuse. So try not to be too heavy handed. It's easy to get to pure white and you don't want to do that. You don't want to lose pixel content. But selectively dodging and burning is much better than doing the filters. Like if I say sharpen it, I can try all these settings and it will just increase all the contrast, right? But see how it washes things out as well? So I can do it in subtle ways and it can help, but dodging and burning gives you a direct control of it. Okay, next, I'm gonna save it as I finish each layer then I might change its color from green to yellow. So I think it's done. Next are the barrels. The barrels have some clear edges that I have to get rid of. And I'm gonna do the same kind of thing. I'm gonna, but these are man-made. So I might need to just use my eraser, get a little bit harder edge, like around 80%. 
at 100% opacity and just cut them away. Do different passes. And if I screw up, hit Command Z or go back in my history. And that's why it's really nice not to just be using a mouse. You have a stylus that can help you with this. Shave it away slowly. Dodging and burning can help once that edge is revealed, but first you have to find that edge. Sometimes people like to turn off all the other layers so there's just the gray showing through. You can try that. Okay, now once I have kind of an edge reveal, then I can just use my lasso to get rid of the rest. I don't need to use this kind of slow, meticulous eraser to erase the stuff that's not next to the edge. Instead, I can simply draw within the eraser space and delete it out in chunks. So a shortcut for moving around is holding down spacebar and then just clicking and dragging that will move you around your frame as you need it. Now if I use my lasso instead of the eraser without any feathering and without using the refine and select or the select and mask option, it's just going to be too sharp. It's going to feel too weird. But if I do this, the selected mask with a feather of four pixels, around 9%, about five pixel radius. And I just hit delete once, it's already softening it a little bit, and that might be enough. And that is enough. But remember, we have those options. And remember, you don't need to get all the selection right in one go. You can hold down shift, and you can add to it. Keep adding to it by holding down shift. If you go too far, you can subtract from it by holding down option. I cut a little too far into the barrel right there, so I'm going to subtract that out. Oops. And then to give myself a little bit, instead of just cutting it like that, like making it perfectly clean, which isn't going to look right, oops, I'm going to use Select and Mask, use the settings I remembered, and then hit Delete. And you see how it just softens it enough. And I set it back. Maybe it softened it too much. I don't know. No, that looks pretty good. Now I can go in with an eraser if I need to and take out that shadow. I can soften my eraser. Remember, you always have Command Z and you always have your history if you take it too far. Don't let perfect be the enemy of good. Okay, next one. I'm just going to use my eraser. I'm going to cut that trough and select around it. I know some of you have references that are incredibly difficult to cut out. It might be man-made apartment buildings with lots of different air conditioning units. You know, there's just all kinds of things that can be difficult. 
And some of you have references that are incredibly easy to cut out. It's just empty blue sky. But all of us need to get to practice where we can. Selecting, erasing, getting the hand-eye coordination. Make these visions work. Aha, there's some blue I need to get rid of. In that first layer. Oh, you know what? It's outside of my zone. I don't need to worry about it. Okay, good. But I do see something I want to burn on that front layer. And I want to take some of that color out, so I'm going to use the sponge on desaturate. There we go. Okay, the barrels are cut out. So let's mark that yellow. Move on to the next. What do we have here? We have a lot of debris. So first I'm just going to use the magic wand. Around the empty space, I'm going to use select and mask. That's going to bite away at a lot of those. Hit OK, then delete, 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 delete. Softens it. The rest I can do manually. That looks pretty good. This one is a little softer, so I might go to Sharpen and um, Smart Sharpen, which is the one I like to use just to increase contrast around pixels. Yeah, I don't know. I can try it and then I can always undo it. <coughs> Problem with filters is they can take a while. <laughs> well, it's doing that. I can look at the rest and see how the edges work. I need to soften the edges around the big coral. But otherwise, my background layer is pretty well cut out. It should get easier and easier, more forgiving as you get further into the into the distance. Because things recede towards a middle gray in the distance. So dodging and burning can help too. Come on, move for me. So I'm just using this sharpen to change there. And the difference is so minimal, it hardly matters. But okay, so let's say that layer is done. Yeah, I think it is. Mark that yellow. Now this one, I'm simply going to select all the empty space around it using contiguous. And actually, because it's empty space, I can turn off contiguous, and it should get all these little holes as well. And then I'm going to use select and mask, let it bite away at these little edges. And then you'll see it just softly transition them out. And so that's much better than before. All right, and then I might actually, yeah, I kind of like it, but I might actually do a quick color adjustment there and just knock their levels down a little bit, all of them. You can always go back and color adjust after you've cut out too. All right, and then the far background, Cement City. You can do the same thing there. Select all the empty space, select and mask. Just one hit of a delete. Does that help? Yeah, a little bit. Just takes off a little bit of that rough sharpness. Right now, 
Gonna hit save. 